Hi, fellow Pythonistas. I'm Ivy Fong from PyCon Malaysia. I'm so happy that today I'll be able to speak to you here at PyCon APEC 2021, hosted by PyCon Thailand. Now, today my title is the past, the present, and the future. Looking back into the history of PyCon Malaysia. Now, the objective for me to do so made me to pay tribute to the pioneers of PyCon uh, Malaysia. For without them, there will be no PyCon Malaysia today. And by looking back in the history from the data we gather, it would help us to learn what would be better and what we keep. What can we do better for the future? And everything starts with this Twitter post on the 1st of October 2013. It says, acquire the domain pycon.my and hosting it on Google Ads. 10 days later, 11 of them hang out together and the result of it Mini PyCon MY 2014 on the March of 15 and the venue sponsored by iTrain. During the event, there are nine speakers and it was arranged and made possible by six pioneers. They are Swimi, Iqbal, Chi Leong, Rashadi, Michael Romo, and CY Lee. Looking at the pictures, this mini PyCon, to me, is not mini at all. And this is a picture of the organizing committee. Now, come PyCon MY 2015, it held on the 21st of August, and the venues were sponsored by the Faculty of Computer Science and Information Technology of University Malaya, one of the big universities in Kuala Lumpur. During this PyCon MY 2015, there are 108 registrants, two keynote speakers who are Marcus Law and Mark Rees, 18 speakers in total, 21 informative sessions, and a lot more staff helping out this time. And the PyCon MY logo is what we are using today. And come PyCon MY 2016, it happens on the 26th to 28th of August in the campus of International University of Malaya, Wales. There's 103 participants, two keynote speaker, Tarek Ziade and Steve Holden. 17 speakers in total, and there are some interesting topics that I found as I go through the schedule of the uh, of 2016. For example, Python in board game design and Justice League of Python. I do wish I were there to listen to them. And there was a recruitment drive for volunteers for the next year, PyCon APEC 2017. A lot of people responded to that and James and Hilmi, who are still active until today in organizing PyCon, joined the committee during that time. From the survey, about 60% of the people attending PyCon Malaysia for this year is the first time attendees. They never attended PyCon before. And 24% of them have one year or lesser experience in Python. 2017 is the PyCon APEC first time held in Malaysia. When I asked Swimming, what is the most exciting things of your years organizing PyCon? He said, organizing the PyCon APEC 2017, it was very exciting event. It was held at Connections Nexus Conference and Event Center at Bangsa South, not too far from last year University Malaya venue. For Python APEC 2017, there are 201 participants, two keynote speakers, Luis Miguel Sanchez and Jessica McKellar. 
27 speakers in total. And this year, Taekwon Malaysia did give out 12 financial aids. And Taekwon did get interviewed by the famous radio station Business FM 89.9 in Malaysia. Other than the talk, there was development sprint as well. And for this year, it's about 60% of the attendees have two years of less experience in Python. After the PyCon APEC 2017, PyCon Malaysia 2018 coming back to University of Malaya Faculty Computer Science and Information Technology and held on the 25th and 26th of August. There were 120 participants, two keynote speakers, Tyrell Yusuf and Chong Yui Lin. In total, 27 sessions and sprint much lesser people involved in organizing this event which were Hilmi, James, Swimming and Chi Yim. But later on, during the actual day, there are other 20 volunteers coming from UM to help out as well. Now from this event, about 50% of the attendants have one year or less experience in Python and 69% of them are attending PyCon for the first time. And for this year, there's a job board available for the attendants to look for jobs as well as for the recruiter to look for candidates. PyCon NY 2019 was held in Plaza Vet TTTI Kuala Lumpur. It was held on the 24th and 25th of August. There are 160 participants, two keynotes, Carol Willing and Dr. Pu Kwan Hong. 26 sessions plus tutorial and workshop. There was open space and lightning talk as well. A few years before 2019, we have Justice League. And this year, we have Iron Man and Superman and other heroes visiting the PyCon NY. 2019 too. And 30% of the attendants have one year or less experience in Python. At the end of PyCon Malaysia 2019, we announced that the PyCon APEC 2020 will be held in Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. The reason that we would like to hold it in Sabah is all this year, PyCon Malaysia has been held in the KL Klang Valley region. There are many other Padmista over in East Malaysia as well. So hoping by doing this, we will be able to bring the East and West closer together. It was planned to help at this beautiful property in this, near the city center of Kota Kinabalu called Magellan Sutra Harbor. It was planned to be on on the 19th and 20th September 2020 and then the pandemic hit and we have to cut it off and move everything online. Even we're not able to welcome everybody to a new destination, we do welcome everybody virtually. This is something new that we try. To host a virtual event, the most challenging part is the interactions between the attendants. For people to go to the conference, other than listen to the talk, one of the main reasons is to communicate and to see people face to face. A lot of Pythonistas are looking forward for the conference is because that is where they can meet their friends that they know, probably to some uh, community online or they have met each other over at a PyCon, uh, PyCon event and looking forward to meet each other again. The virtual version of PyCon can't really simulate that. So the committee members decided to have more panel discussion sessions as well as tutorial so to let the attendants be able to interact with the speaker to ask questions and get instant feedback. We ran it over four days. 
one track, two weekends from 12th to 20th September. There were 176 registrants for this event and we invited Guido to start the event with an interview. There were total six panel sessions, four interviews, 10 tutorials, eight talks, one hackathon, and two winding talk sessions. We also prepared a mural board for attendants to leave their message to Icon Malaysia or any other attendants or any message they would like to share with other people. It's just like the notice spot you have during an on-site event. In this uh, virtual event, we have 50% of the attendants have two years or less experience with Python and 54% of them attended PyCon for the first time. For this year, PyCon Malaysia 2021, it was still a virtual one because the pandemic is still rather bad in the Malaysia during that period of time. And it was held 18 September. One day event, two tracks happened on the 18th of September. 76 registrants, the keynote speakers were Dr. Lau Che Han, total of 11 talks and six tutorials. 36% of the attendants have two years of best experience in Python and 40% attended Python for the first time. Now, all this year, we won't be able to host the event if not because of all the sponsors all the sponsors and partners are listed over here in alphabetical order. We really thank you for your support. And of course, not forgetting uh, the community members that have been working and supporting us, Women Who Code, Ginabalu uh, Coders, and Pythonista from the regions. Now, when I ask swimming, what is the most challenging part about organizing PyCon, he said, the venue. For on-site meeting, venue has been taken up a big portions of the expenses. For the venue sponsor that allowed PyCon Malaysia to use their space is a great help for the for easing the for easing the expenses of PyCon Malaysia and for other sponsors that help when we have to pay for our venue that really make PyCon able to continue. So we thank you very much for that. Other than that, we do have people to help out on the t-shirt design website and as well as the banner design. Some of them are Nagi, Irene, Azura, Guan, Christy and James and many more that I might not be able to mention all the names over here. Now, we have been taking some time to look back into what the journey PyCon Malaysia has taken. What is the future hold or what we are planning for the future? We are planning to automate as much of procedure as possible. As manpower has been a uh, key issue in ho uh, in hosting PyCon other than the venue especially in these two years when the pandemic everybody seems to stay home but everybody have some sort of issue they have to take care of, which sometimes is a bit difficult for us to ask so if we able to automate a lot of those procedures that is repetitive that would help a lot in the future as well and we do have a list of the tasks to be done and if you are and if you are interested to help out to do reach out to us and we welcome volunteers and collaborations as well now uh, looking from starting from the pioneer up until about 2006 2017 there is a new batch of core committee coming in that have been staying on until today 
uh, two of them are James and Hilmi. And Furious Style the Road now, we are also looking for people who will be able to join as the main organizer or, or the main organizing committee for the future Python as well. And that is very important. Having new blood is very important. Not only it helps the organizations to continue, but it also helps to groom out the future leaders. And we would like to listen to the audience to understand what they need. Looking from the history and the information gathered, we roughly can have the gauge that about 30% of the people attend PyCon Malaysia or PyCon Airpack held by PyCon Malaysia. About 30% of them are the beginners. About 15% of them attending PyCon for the first time. Looking from this information, we can tell that beginners level talk are important. Other than that, letting people know how the PyCon community works, who are they and what kind of event we help is important as well because a lot of them are actually new to this community. And for the last two years, we have also asked the audience for feedback what kind of topic they interested the most. And the top three topics we get from the audience for these two years in no particular order because like two years they have different ranking but these three topics always at the top three first machine learning ai and big data second web service including the frameworks like django and flask data science analytic and mining for example pandas next year PyCon Malaysia. We are planning to having it in 17, 18 September. We're still going to be in Magellan Sutra Saba if everything works out well. We are glad that um, Magellan Sutra be able to hold our deposit so that like we can we can still hold our event over there when the pandemic clear. So we are hoping to be able to announce the details to you soon in the near future and hoping to see you face to face there. To get all the updates and information about PyCon Malaysia, do follow us on Twitter at PyCon Malaysia or follow Facebook page PyCon MY official or go to our website pycon.my and for me, if you would like to get in touch with me, go to my Twitter account and drop me a message at ivyphone81. Thank you for listening to me for sharing the history of PyCon Malaysia with you. And I wish you have a wonderful PyCon Epic 2021 and I will see you next time. Thank you.